Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning and happy Thursday. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. Starting off your day with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A woman with a criminal record is suspected of killing a man on Tuesday while the victim was on the job. RJ's Arlette Youssef has more on what happened. A man was shot and killed allegedly by a woman Tuesday in the Southwest Valley. The victim, later identified by the Clark County Coroner's Office as 41-year-old Raul Cardoza, was working with his brother in a cleaning business. LVMPD Lieutenant Jason Johansson said police were called to Venetia Apartments on South Fort Apache Road around 4 p.m. They found Cardoza next to a white van near the entrance of the apartments. Police attempted to save the victim, but he later died at the hospital. Police say witnesses described the shooter as a man with facial tattoos, but when officers found the suspect, it turned out to be a woman in a nearby neighborhood. Lieutenant Johansson said the shooting appears to have been completely random and the victim innocent. They're here just doing their job, doing an estimate to clean someone's carpet. Court records identify the shooter as 27-year-old Kayla Allery. Allery faces multiple charges, including open murder. Last year, she was sentenced to 14 months to three years in prison after pleading guilty to arson. And Women Helping Women reaches a new height as a pilot teams up with a local TikTok star to create watches for women of all strengths. Review Journal's Lena Bleets has more on this story. The female-centric watch brand is rebranding to target all women. Founded by professional pilot Abingdon Mullen in 2007, Abingdon Company saw a huge surge in sales last year. And now she's partnering with Vegas local Kate McHugh, the first American woman to captain a cruise ship. The two have used social media to help build the brand and make watches specifically for women, especially those who work in traditionally male-dominated industries. So the automotive space, military, scuba diving, boating, yachting, uh, anything super adventurous, we say we build watches for women who do more. So the whole idea is that they're absolutely beautiful, but they can also take a beating. Soon you can check out the watches in person as Abingdon Company is renovating a downtown space and hopes to open its doors in May. In weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. Partly cloudy skies today with temperatures reaching the low 70s and we do have a wind advisory that will remain in effect starting at 1 p.m. this afternoon until 1 a.m. on Friday. Southwest winds reaching up to 35 miles per hour are expected and gusts up to 40 miles per hour. For the rest of the week, temperatures will quickly decrease this Saturday into the high 50s, especially with the rain shower we're expecting that day. Low 60s on Sunday, but we will feel temperatures go back into the 70s on Tuesday and even hit the 80s on Thursday. Time for your business update sponsored by the NAB Show, where content comes to life. The historic Western Hotel and Bingo Parlor is up for sale. The Western property was known primarily for having cheap slot machines, bingo and table games. The two-story building has approximately 49 hotel rooms and the average room used to run about $37 a night. The price of the hotel has not been disclosed. The Northwest Las Vegas City Council has repurchased 135 acres of land that was planned for a medical campus. The Helios Project is what it was called. Pacific Group has purchased the land in early 2022 for nearly $37 million, but construction never started. North Las Vegas still envisions turning that land into a hub of medical activity. Now time for your sports update brought to you by Casablanca Hotel and Resort. The UNLV running Rebels faced the Seton Hall Pirates in the quarterfinals of the NIT tournament Wednesday night, and the Rebs got ran out of New Jersey. The first half saw UNLV shoot 0 for 9 from 3, putting their NCAA record streak of 1,226 consecutive games with a made 3 at risk until Justin Webster netted one in the second half. Seton Hall held control all night long, cruising to a 91-68 win, knocking UNLV out of the NIT tournament in the quarterfinal round. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Millennials are turning 40 and are officially considered middle-aged. After turning 40, it's important to protect your health as much as possible. Here are six over 40 health tips. First, act your age by prioritizing preventive care. Don't mess with your heart. Don't skip cancer screenings. 
or skip vaccines as they can be vital to maintaining good health. Take precautions for COVID and finally ask your doctor questions. A caring primary care doctor becomes even more significant as you age. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament continues Thursday. In a rematch of last year's national title game, Connecticut is a 10.5 point favorite over San Diego State at Caesar Sportsbook. The Aztecs are plus 500 on the money line and the total is 136. Arizona is a 7.5 point favorite over Clemson and the total is 152. North Carolina is a 5.5 point favorite over Alabama with the total at 173 and Half. Now for Lifestyle, sponsored by Atomic Golf, now open next to the Strat. UNLV's College of Fine Arts Hall of Fame Gala will take place next Tuesday at Fountain Blue's Blue Live Theater. Those being honored include MGM Grand Star Illusionist David Copperfield, comic great Shecky Green, and renowned artist and educator Rita Deenan Abbey. The wide range of inductees is a product of UNLV College of Fine Arts Dean Nancy Ushers' ongoing efforts to broaden the halls' appeal. Many strip entertainers have been honored in the gala's 20-year history. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. During the NFL owners meetings, which wrapped up on Wednesday, Raiders head coach Antonio Pierce spoke about why quarterback Gardner Minshew was the right fit for the team. Like any other position in our team, uh, we want to make that as competitive as possible. Uh, one thing about Gardner is you see throughout his career, he finds a way. Right? So uh, that's going to make our room better. He's been through a lot of adversity. We want that experience as well in there. So to me, it's a good fit and it's culture fit. Wild boy right there. Personality. In entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie's as live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Germany's oldest beer hall celebrates 20 years in Las Vegas. Hofbra House opened its doors in 2004, intending to replicate the Hofbra House in Munich, Germany. The 19,000 square foot restaurant is one of the largest eateries in the city. Mayor Carolyn Goodman honored their legacy and presented the owners with the key to the city. Thanks for watching 7 at 7, and if you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content, including Las Vegas breaking news streaming live. We'll see you tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.